At EPT Barcelona in 2010, Spain's Jesus Lozano was the last hope of notching up a home win. He found himself up against the spirited German Giuseppe Pantaleo in a crazy showdown. So two big stacks go to the flop. Flop is queen high, nothing for either player. This is a fairly safe flop to continuation bet. This only hits a queen and a club flush draw. He can bet and take it down. Or he can think about it and check back. Another queen comes on the turn. It's also a third club. And Lozano feels like he can steal it. Giuseppe slowed down on the flop. Jesus is going to take a stab. 230,000. Well, again, Giuseppe's going to think about this. We saw him happily float against Shanda de Vries. Yup, and it looks like that's what's going to go on here. Giuseppe has a cunning plan in store. He's going to float this turn with nothing to try to win this pot on the river. They both have the same hand. Queens and deuces with a jack kicker. The aggressor will probably win this pot. Lozano is not shut down. He bets a second time. And Giuseppe's reaching for chips. It looks like his plan is falling into place. He's going to raise his Zeus off this chop pot. Makes it 790,000. If Jesus thinks Pantaleo's on the steal, can he find the courage to re-raise him? Well, Jesus can't possibly call this river raise. He could only be good if Giuseppe was calling his turn bet with a complete air ball to bluff the river. To win, he needs to re-raise. He's called! Immediately. Well, it's going to be a shot pot. Whoa! Pantaleo's just mocked! Giuseppe just forfeited the pot by mucking his hand, and it would have been a chop pot. Yeah, but you don't think someone's going to be calling you with the same hand, do you? I can't believe Lozano called there with Jack High, and I can't believe he just mucked. If you love that hand, click to vote. Then pass it on to your friends.